I'm Todd Ellis. I want to talk to you today about five port switches and the nightmare that they wreak on your network. Today I want to talk to you about something that plagues offices all over the place, especially small, medium businesses. They get in a rush, they need to be able to uh, expand a small area, and guess what? They didn't get uh, the network cabling guy to come in and do additional drops. So what do they do? They go out, they go to the local uh, box store and purchase a small, or they maybe they go to Amazon and get a small five port switch. Uh, and that way they can expand out the network. This is the greatest thing ever. It works so well. Yeah, that's until somebody unplugs it or somebody goes in and, and loops the network, which means they plug the switch into itself. These are the type of things that happen. And when you do, it wreaks havoc on the entire environment. So. Why am I talking about this? Because this is something that happens a lot in our business. I'm not trying to decrease our revenue, but this is something that it's kind of a, what are you doing kind of stuff. Uh, it's always good to just run a drop for each individual. And when I talk about a drop, I'm talking about a physical network cable that goes back to your network room to a real switch and not these little small things that lie on the floor or they're Velcroed to the wall or to the cubicle that expand out and go to phones that are IP based nowadays, they go to computers. These are things that are not designed. This is, you're basically uh, creating a, a, a throttle point on your network. And then even worse, sometimes people run from one five port switch to another five port switch somewhere within the network. It just causes problems. Uh, if you can only do that so many times, and you start to have major network breakdown. You have performance problems. You, again, looping the network is pretty common. And unfortunately with these cheap switches, they don't have the abilities of an enterprise switch, whereas if you get a loop, it doesn't shut the port down. It does what's called ARPing. And basically it's, think about a massive echo chamber. In the network packet world, it's like people are talking and it's just, you ever taken a microphone and stuck it to a speaker? That's the loud noise that's happening on the network. So think about it in those terms. Massive problems, you can't operate, and it's all because you didn't want to spend the money to run the network drops. Sometimes it's necessary, but if it's really that necessary, and say it's a long period, you know, a longer distance from your main distribution point, go out, buy fiber, that goes the more than 300 feet, create an IDF, another in, independent uh, distribution point that distributes the network out from that area. Stop putting in these five port switches. You'll thank me later, I promise. I'm Todd Ellis with Secure Networkers. If you have any questions, you can call us at 281-651-2254 or email us at service at securenetworkers.com.